Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski here working on what is now the last skill in Section AA of IXL's 8th grade math. Uh, they added a couple skills and now it's solve a system of equations using any method. So we're going to use the substitution method and the combination method to set up and solve some linear systems. So with this first one here, we've got Jeremiah is training for a triathlon. He needs to swim at today's uh, certain distance at today's workout. If he swims at the rec center pool, he, he'll, he will complete, so the rec center pool, he will complete a 175-yard warm-up and then swims laps in a lane that is 20 yards long. If Jeremiah swims at the indoor pool, he will complete a 145-yard warm-up plus a main set that's 30 yards per lap. If Jeremiah swims the correct number of laps, he can complete the same distance in either pool. So how long would that be and how many laps would it be? All right, so let's look at the rec center. So at the rec center, his total distance y would be the amount he swims per lap, 20 per lap, and we're trying to figure out the number of laps, plus his 175 yard warm up. So the 175 is his y intercept, the amount he'll do no matter what, uh, no matter how many laps he does, and the 20 uh, is the number of yards he swims per lap x. All right, so what about the indoor pool? We can write up and set up a similar equation here. y equals, so now there he's doing 30 yards per lap, and a 145 yard warm up. So there's our linear system. Shouldn't be too difficult to set up those equations. As far as solving it, we'll use the substitution method. Since they both equal y, it means they equal each other. So let's do 20x plus 175 equals 30x plus 145. Sorry, let's do color coding here. All right, so we can solve that equation by subtracting 20x from both sides. And then we'll subtract 145 from both sides. And then we'll divide both sides by 10 and we get x equals three as in three laps at either pool. And if we wanna figure out the um, distance for each, or the total distance, we can just take either one of these equations and plug that three in for the number of laps, x. So I'll plug it into this bottom equation. And 30 times three is 90. And 90 plus 145 is 235. So 235 is his total yards. All right, so that's, um, we set up this linear system and then we solve using substitution. This one's a little bit different. Students in a health class are tracking how much water they consume each day. We got Michael's using two reusable water bottles, a small one and a large one. Yesterday, he drank three small bottles and two large bottles for a total of 90 ounces. It's a little sloppy with my lines. Uh, the day before, he drank three small bottles and one large bottle for a total of 69, ounce 69 ounces. How much does each bottle hold? All right, well the three small bottles and the two large bottles equaled 90 ounces. And then the next day he used the same exact bottles, three small and one large, and that was 69 ounces. Okay, so that's standard form. We could solve this equation pretty quick by just multiplying the bottom equation by negative one, and then the s values will cancel out. 2l plus negative 1l is just 1l, and 90 plus negative 69 is 21, meaning the large bottle holds 21 ounces. All right, and then we could take either one of these equations. I'll take the top one because it doesn't have all those negative signs in it that I just added, and we'll do 3s plus 2L, but we now know that L is 21, so 2 times 21 equals 90. So 3S plus 42 equals 90. Subtract 42 from both sides, we get 3S equals 48, and divide both sides by 3, S equals 16, which means the small bottle holds 16 ounces. All right, so that's, we set up two equations in standard form as opposed to the last one we did slope-intercept form, and then we use the combination method. 
one more time in these last two I'm going to do the same thing but there's some certain little um, tricks here that we got to pay attention to all right we got two students in the same Spanish class Jeremiah and Regan we have Jeremiah and Regan they plan on uh, to get together today after school to make vocabulary flashcards Jeremiah has already started on the project and has made six has already made six flashcards Regan hasn't started yet. Okay, so those are y-intercepts. Since Jeremiah makes three flashcards per minute, and Regan makes nine flashcards per minute, Regan will soon have the num same number of flashcards. So since Regan's working faster, he's going to catch up eventually. All right, so for Jeremiah, his total number of flashcards y is going to be three per minute plus the six that he made before they got together. For Reagan, uh, he didn't make any, so his y-intercept's zero, but he's making them at nine flashcards per minute. So there's the two equations. So we can set those two expressions equal to each other because they're both equal to y. So we'll do 3x plus 6, this is called the substitution method, equals 9x. All right. So we can solve this equation by subtracting 3x from both sides and then dividing both sides by 6. And we can see that x equals 1, and that means in one minute. So in one minute, how many flashcards will each one have? Well, I can plug that 1 into either equation, but the easier one is going to be to plug it into this equation for Reagan. Just do 9 times 1 and y equals 9. So in one minute they'll both have nine flashcards. One more here. Today's cafeteria specials at the high school in Allenville are deluxe turkey sandwich and a chef salad. During early lunch, so early lunch, here's one situation, the cafeteria sold 72 turkey sandwiches and 64 chef salad for a total of $416. During the late lunch, uh, 15 turkey sandwiches and 41 chef salads were sold for a total of $142. How much does each item cost? So these numbers are a little bit bigger and uglier, but we can still set this up in standard form. 72 turkey sandwiches and 64 chef salads were $416. 15 turkey sandwiches and 41 chef salads equal $142. So this one's a lot tougher because I can't just subtract the second equation from the first. I need to get some kind of common multiple. So here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'm going to take this top equation and let's multiply it by negative 15. All right, so 72 times negative 15 is negative 1080 t and 64 times negative 15 is negative 960, so negative 960c. And 416 times negative 15 is negative 6,240. All right, it'll come clear here in a second why I did that, because I'm going to multiply the bottom of the equation here by 72. That's going to give me 15t times 72 is 1,080t. That was the that was the key part there. That I got opposites for those values. 41 times 72 is 2952t, 2952t or um, c. And 142 times 72 is 10224. <clears throat> All right, so now we'll add these two equations together. The t terms cancel out. Negative 960 plus 2952 is 1992c. And negative 6240 plus I'm sorry, this was, I knew this wasn't going to work out because I messed something up. My multiplication was on here. It was 24. 
not 25. So that's going to change this to 3,984. And then we'll divide both sides by 1992. And that gives us two. So a lot of work there to figure out the chef salad costs $2. All right. So now we can use that to figure out how much the turkey salad costs. We'll take this green equation over here to 15t plus 41 times uh, two, because two chef salads equals 142. So 15t plus 82 equals 142. Subtract 82 from both sides. And 142 minus 82 is 60. And then divide both sides by 15. And you get 4, as in a turkey sandwich costs $4. All right, so those numbers got big. Um, maybe there was a lower common multiple that I could have used other than 1,080, but it worked out for me. So there's solving a system of equations using any method, basically substitution method or um, combination method. Good luck.